this is Thomas N1XPY, and um, I found these paper clips in an old drawer, and I started wondering that if they were good enough to track airline signals from their beacon. And in this project, we're going to be testing that. So we're gonna um, start testing it pretty soon, and I'll see you then. So these are my plans to um, receive airline signals with this paper clip. Um, the frequency that the airplanes transmit on is around 1090 megahertz. And using this little handy formula, I, I got that the wavelength would be about 6.5 centimeters and the length of the antenna would actually be that. Um, we've measured the paper clip out in its fullest and it's about 8.5 centimeters so we'll cut it to fit. We're going to be making a ground plane antenna out of this and a ground plane a ground plane antenna is pretty simple. It, you have the top element and then as many elements coming out that are quarter wave and the top is quarter wave as well. So we'll, co so we'll connect that to our radio and see if we can receive some airline signals. Hypothetically, it should work. So I've started making the antenna and I found these little screws here to solder in the little inactive elements on the sides and I've already started doing that. But this paper clip right here will be my active element and it's supposed to go in here but that's a very tough challenge because, because I don't think my soldering iron is powerful enough to be able to uh, solder it in there and melt everything so that it stays in there continuously. So I guess I'm gonna risk it and just uh, go for the solder and I'll see you then. Oh man. So I think the soldering that I made should hold continuously. And now I'm just going to measure it out to six and a half centimeters. I don't really need to measure out the ground planes because it doesn't really matter how far off the quarter wavelength they are, but um, I'll only be cutting the top element or the active element. Okay, so now I'm just marking off where six and a half centimeters is so I can cut it when I have our cutting tool. And there we go. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, six and a half centimeter active element. So the antenna is about done so we can get started with the setup. So here's our paperclip antenna, perfectly done. I don't think its impedance is correct, but we don't have um, the correct equipment to measure it. So I've pointed down the ground elements, and that usually brings down the impedance to around 50 ohms, which is what our receiver expects. And so the battle is on. My, people, my paperclip antenna versus jet airline traffic.
So I'm all ready to go. Let's start. As you can see, the airplanes are transmitting their GPS and their flight number. So I've got a couple signals here, but I can do better. Just wait and see. So now I'm going to start a program that can superimpose all this information on a map. Let's go. Alright, it's loading up. And here we go. As you can see, we're getting flights from at least 100 miles away, and they're all coming in pretty strong. So in the battle of paperclip versus jet airliners, we have a clear winner, the paperclip. Tell me how you think the paperclip did, and I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching.